Hi there, my name is Kobe Kingsford, that is a flamingo, and that is a T-Rex. Welcome. So before this video starts, uh, just some quick promo. <laughs> uh, I just filmed and uploaded earlier today a video on my main channel about suicide, and I discussed for 22 minutes or something about, or I discuss uh, suicide in general a little bit, I guess, but mostly how to overcome suicidal thoughts and what to do. Um, hopefully I made some points that may be able to help some people, uh, even if they just need a distraction. I mean, it's 22 minutes long, so that's, yeah. Um, but head over to my main channel if you need that. Okay. Anyway, uh, over to the actual topic of this video. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be a little update on my testosterone journey, I suppose, and, uh, uh, funnily enough, this has been requested so much. Like, I'm barely on testosterone, and everyone's asking me to do an update. So that's that's fun. And um, I've tried to film a video ever since last Wednesday. It is Monday currently. Last Wednesday was my two weeks, which makes this Wednesday my three weeks. So I'm, like, much closer to my three weeks mark. Um, but every time I've tried to film this video, something has gone wrong. I haven't been able to use the footage, or I have deleted the footage immediately, or like just stopped recording uh, because I can't stand myself and I can't stand the sound of my own voice and how I look and stuff. But I'm gonna try not to be as hard on myself because I want to document this for myself and for you guys. And I remember when I first started testosterone almost three weeks ago, uh, <laughs> which isn't long ago, but anyway. Just pointing it out. Um, I tried so hard to find videos of people one week in, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks in, like in the very beginning. Because when you see testosterone update videos, usually they are like months apart when the person is many months on testosterone, which one makes me very envious, and two, it doesn't really show me what I can expect to happen in the start, especially not on a low dose. So if anyone can relate to that, like the situation I'm in, then hello. Hi. I guess it's just what you can expect to happen, or not, because everybody is different. Everybody is different, and everybody is different. Anyway, um, so uh, la la la. let's start with emotional changes, because that's what my doctor told me was the first thing I would notice, or notice changes in, of, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't feel any different. Uh, my mum said that I seemed a lot calmer, which, oh, sh sorry, <laughs> which is true to an extent, because now I have one less thing to worry about, which is starting testosterone, because now I'm on testosterone, so I don't have to worry about it constantly, and I wasn't that worried about, like, starting testosterone, I was, I mean, I was nervous, I still am nervous, because nothing has happened yet, but um, I was so worried that I wouldn't be able to start testosterone because my journey to testosterone, like everything was so, like I was so uncertain all the time and like I never knew what was happening. I can make a different video about that sometime, but I worried and stressed a lot about it. Um, but now I can calm down because I'm finally on it. Yay. But uh, changes related to the hormone, uh, I haven't noticed. Uh, I'm kind of struggling. A bit not struggling, struggling. Trust me, I'm 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 better than I've been in years, but like I still get like bad anxiety sometimes and I feel very insecure, which isn't testosterone's fault, but uh it's actually the complete opposite. But I did feel very, very anxious today and it was really bad. And I hope that's not testosterone because some people say and it was like unrelated to how I look, not completely I'm, I'm always anxious about how i look and how i sound because i'm scared that people will see me as a girl but like you know that kind of just anxious feeling in general that's just in your body that you don't really know what you don't know what causes it yeah that's also how i felt today and like it was to the point where i felt like i was going to throw up which isn't fun um i've heard from some other people that testosterone can increase your anxiety just like general anxiety which I really don't need, and I really don't hope that's what's happening. Oh, voice break, sorry. Um, but yeah, other than that, no emotional changes. Uh, physically? 
I, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm, uh, <laughs> I can't speak. That's not testosterone's fault. But I don't know what is placebo and what's legit and what is like caused by testosterone. Um, I'm gonna get a bit like private and TMI here. Uh, not private. It's actually the complete opposite of privacy. Anyway, one thing that was weird that did happen was I started bleeding unexpectedly and when I start say bleeding I don't mean in the form of a nosebleed I mean like my insides were pouring <laughs> pouring out of me um and uh, yeah that was unexpected because usually I get shark week or my menstruation whatever you want to call it in the very beginning or very end of the month and it's I'd say it's been that way for a couple of years now I think it's settled yeah it's definitely settled into this like pattern uh, so every end of the month or like very beginning of the month um the only exception was like when I was very underweight because of some eating disorder stuff then I gained weight <laughs> and even more weight than I needed ouch um and it came back in that same pattern and I don't think this month was an exception it's just really hard for me to remember exactly when I've had shark week because I kind of just completely disconnect from my body and don't want to think about it I just deal with it I wash myself I stay clean but I don't think about it. But I don't think this month was an exception. But like one week after starting testosterone, which was in the middle of the month, like around the 16th or something, uh, I started bleeding. And uh, it was more painful than usual and maybe a bit of a heavier flow than usual. Um, nothing extreme, just, yeah. And it hurt a bit more than usual. I don't know if that's because of testosterone. Maybe it's testosterone's fault. Some people say that it happens to them and then they lose it forever, which is what I hope will happen. But my testosterone levels are quite low. So, like, uh, because of my lower dosage. So, I don't think that's happening just yet. You can hope, though. A boy can hope. I wish. Anyway. Um, and then other, like, another. Okay, let's just be honest for a second. Um, Another thing that quickly changes on testosterone is, like, sexual. So, like, your sex drive uh, and, like, downstairs downstairs growth and downstairs change in sensation. Uh, I don't think my sex drive has increased. I have, like, no sex drive before. Like, barely any. Uh, so, I'm not suddenly going to turn into, like, a sexual monster. A sexual beast. Like, that's not going to happen. Maybe it has increased a little bit, but maybe that's just placebo because I expected to happen uh I may have gotten a bit more sensitive actually or maybe I'm just noticing it more because I'm again expecting something to happen but I may actually be a bit more sensitive um when it comes to growth I don't think anything has happened but I kind of wouldn't know anyway because it's part of my body that I don't pay attention to like I wash it and stuff obviously but I don't like look at it so I wouldn't know and it doesn't feel any different uh, and I'm not experiencing any any like sensations, like tingling sensations or something like that, that would suggest that I am growing. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, my mum pointed out that it seems I seem to be breaking out here, uh, and I I think I, I may have some more like uh, uh, it looks like I'm starting to get some more like pimples. Um, but she said my skin looked different, so maybe maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's because of testosterone. And that's kind of it. Like, <laughs> I've noticed I'm getting voice cracked, all right? Like, it happens. And it it's happening. Like, but I don't think that's because of testosterone. Because, like, my doctor put me on a low dose to purposely make my voice change in a slower pace. You know? Uh, well, actually, slower pace. But I'm just gonna mention it, like, yeah, my my voice has cracked a bit more than it did before. But I'm not uh noticing any like throat dryness or soreness, uh or scratchiness. Uh I'm very thirsty, but I've always been very thirsty. That's a lie. The last year I've been very thirsty all the time and I drink everything and I eat everything. So my appetite hasn't really changed. It's still huge. <laughs> Um, some people say that they think my voice has gotten deeper, which I don't really believe. Um, 
because again, it's not supposed to get or deepen yet. I I mean, I would love it to, but yeah. Um, but maybe I just subconsciously speak in a lower register because. I feel more confident now because I'm on testosterone, but uh, I want you to know that, like, on video, I purposely try and deepen my voice because I feel much more comfortable that way. I'm not saying that, like, I talk like this when I am around people at school and stuff. Like, I I don't do that. But I I do notice that, like, sometimes when I speak, uh, I, I, like, say something and I'm like, like, oh, God, I can't believe that was me and that makes me feel horrible that my voice sounds like that because I sound like a girl uh <laughs> there's nothing bad about sounding like a girl when you are a girl but when you're not a girl it's kind of it can feel kind of weird sometimes um but yeah maybe I'm just subconsciously more confident so I speak in a lower register maybe testosterone is like creating a pathway that allows me to go deeper when I speak um I don't know it will be interesting to see um what more yeah one thing uh when I just started I felt kind of weird about putting this like foreign substance on my body and like having my skin absorb it and it going into my blood um I was kind of freaked out by that but then I talked to my biology teacher and she was like oh no it's not like it's some like weird chemical thing um it's a natural or it's it's a hormone that humans naturally produce anyway it's naturally produced by your body uh you're just having uh some more added which made me feel a bit better like it's a natural thing not some like scary chemical um a weird chemical uh and also in the first few days i did feel so not bad well kind of bad but not because i was on testosterone but i have looked forward and worked towards this point for years right and then I finally reached it and now what like I didn't think about what would come afterwards I mean I did think about like the changes and stuff but when you see testosterone updates online it's so easy to like click yourself from one video to the other like hopping months at a time like in just a few seconds and seeing them change but when you're actually living it it's different like you can't do that in real life so you don't really notice the changes as much probably and like it seems like it's gonna I don't know it's like weird because I've been waiting for years and then I got to that point and the first few days I was like oh I have to wait even longer now for the changes to happen what am I gonna do with my life like now I don't have to work towards getting on testosterone because I'm already on testosterone but now I just have to wait do I have to put my whole life on wait again do I have to just be impatient every day and not be able to live my life because I'm still insecure, right? Because the changes haven't they, they haven't happened yet. Um so I felt bad about that. But then after the first few days I was like, you know what, I still have to I just have to continue living my life. The changes are gonna happen eventually. Um I just have to keep working on things on my own. Like testosterone isn't gonna fix everything. So I need to keep working on like my insecurities, so, like being insecure in general and try and accept myself more and live my life go to school do stuff and then the changes will come after a bit slowly but surely so that kind of helped a little bit I guess or like it didn't help but my mind just my mindset just decided to go in that direction like yeah I just have to live my life anyway which is the good direction because you shouldn't just sit around all day and not live your life because you like holding a mirror looking at yourself waiting for the changes to happen because you can't you can't live like that so yeah I think that is it finally I successfully made this video and I think I might actually upload it uh so I hope you found this video interesting I will make another one when I get to one month on Sostro that will be interesting to see um I hope you're all doing very well and if you have any advice or tips or experience with this or any questions for me then leave that in the comments and I will gladly chat with you um and thank you so much by the way for all the support on my last video that I made the I'm ashamed of being trans thing I still struggle a lot with that but you know like I don't know there's so many things I want to talk to you guys about but 
whatever. I just wanted to mention that, like, thank you so much. It means the world to me that you are there for me and that you support me and you're willing to take time out of your day to write me a comment and try and make me feel better. And I haven't <laughs> read all the comments even because I get a bit overwhelmed, but I will. So thank you. Um, but yeah, have a great day. Take care. Stay safe and hydrated and full of amazing foods. Uh, and have an awesome week. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Goodbye. And sorry for the bad quality as usual and the weird lighting. Oh, the sun was shining today. That was really cool. Uh, so hooray for spring coming after a bit. It's still so, there's so much snow here and it's so cold because it's Norway. But spring is coming it's in a few months. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Goodbye.